So, I think this thing is on and it's working. Getting a little freezers here. All right, so you guys wanted to see what it's like. And by the way, I got a brand new microscope here. I don't know if I can actually, I got my camera kind of set up here funky. So you guys uh, want to know, this is what a professionalized camera and setup looks like. I'm gonna cough you out of the way here. Okay, we got schematics over here. What we have here is an iPhone 10R. Kid brought it to me. The backstory on this bad boy is this. Uh, isn't that just a sexy microscope? Oh, we love those things, right? They do so much for us. They improve what we can do. And when it comes to soldering, my equipment's over here. I went with the Quick and I went with the uh, Hako, of course, what I was trained on over at Jess's. And what we got here is an iPhone XR, all right? iPhone XR. Now, what's wrong with this thing? Well, we don't know. I do know it's not pulling any current on the ammeter. And we do know for a fact that we never have a problem. And, uh, you know, we don't ever have a board problem unless it's we eliminated a parts problem, right? Right. Okay, so... You know, I'm still pretty new at being qualified for all this stuff, so take it easy on me, all right, if I miss a few steps. Because, uh, you know, truth is, we all just kind of force dump our way through our education, uh, our experiences, right? And then we learn. All right, so let's put this back up on my, uh, I don't know, I'm to to have it kind of like this way. Because look, my, my scope does not have a camera. It does not have a ring light yet. Uh, as a matter of fact, I got had this scope for literally 24 hours. <laughs> okay. And the new stuff that I bought with it hasn't come up. My Barlow lens hasn't even shown up yet, but we can still do things under magnification. Uh, but just hold out. Be cool with me. We're getting to it. We're we're basically going to diagnose this uh, thing because I already know what's wrong with this, and I I have a suspicion a lot of you guys out there who do this for a living as well, and who are electronic engineers, will know exactly what I'm going through here and what exactly is happening with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our diode mode on our multimeter. I got the Klein because the fluke, we don't have any flukes here in Kansas City, so I had to order fluke and I haven't gotten one yet, so I, I use this old Klein I got, and it's, it's actually brand new, but look, it's a great little, robust little multimeter. It doesn't beep on um, diode mode, but uh, we're making it work, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kinda put this right here and hopefully, you can see what I'm doing here as I turn a microscope. Which, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Can you see that? Can you see my, yep. So I got you in my field here. Let's kind of take that. And we'll, we'll take it to the motions. Because I know what's wrong with this already. I've already been there and done that with this thing. But I want to just kind of make a video to show you. Okay, so we're not pulling any current on the ammeter, all right? So what does that tell us? It tells us, well, there's a big, big problem. And one of the major problems on these, when the ammeter's not pulling any current, means usually there's a board problem. So we take it out, and let's go ahead and see what our readings are on our battery tunnel. Yes, sir. Ready to ground. Let's scope out, rock and roll, check the data line. Boom. What do we got? Huh. Well, that ain't gonna work. Okay, now we're at volts. That's what I wanted. Check the data line. Bingo! What do we got? Seven? Yep. Okay. 
we got this one. We're at four bolts. Wow, we ain't got a short. Huh, interesting. But we got four, a little over four bolts. Okay, so that's a good line. Oh, should be ground. Yep, grounded. Should be ground. Grounded. I always kind of like to come over here and check these as well. Make sure uh, these readings are dead on. Yeah, it's grounded. That's good. Okay, so what does this tell us? It tells us, well, we don't have a short on main. We don't have a short. We're, that's not our problem here. But what we do have is a problem probably with flexion. Because the actual story on this is this. Phone came to me. It was dropped while playing soccer, I believe, or getting out of the car. And later that night, it just uh, went into the little thing and uh, on the screen where it circles and died. And then he took it into a, a third party who changed the screen on it, thinking that was going to really help it. And at that time, it was still able to charge and still able to turn on here and there. But it was a boot loop. After the screen repair failed at this little store in Kansas, he, uh, he brought it to me and uh, I took a look at it. I was like, yeah, we can definitely fix it. However, it might be expensive. Uh, because as we all know, when we have to reball a chip on the main board, that's no easy task when it comes to a large chip. Okay. And, uh, well, he doesn't want to do that, but uh, I advised against it, considering he can buy a new one of these, a used one of these, cheaply. All right, so he's not going to do that. Uh, just go ahead and recycle it. But uh, the, the, the issue here is PMIC. Now, if this was a data recovery operation, we could do this very easily. We really could. Yeah, there's a whole thing that we do. Um, but... Data recovery on this is a no-go because the data on this is not worth anything. But anyways, I hope you guys got something out of this video. It's kind of what we do here. And uh, we are uh, micro solders and uh, iPhone repair specialists. Uh, we, we mainly focus on data recovery. We mainly focus on the things other guys in the area can't do. Like we can work on these small boards. We can work on the components on these boards. A lot of people can't. They, they get liquid damage, and you know what? They're like, oh, we can't do it. Why? Because they don't have the training necessary to do the things we can do with a microscope like we got right here. This microscope and our soldering skills and abilities make us do incredibly complex, small microscopic things that other people cannot. Now, we got mad respect for all the techs out there. They do a great job. And, uh, you know, there's some good ones and there's some, you know, uh, amateurs out there. And you got to really be careful who you take your phone to. But anyways, I appreciate you. I hope you got something out of the video. Please uh, comment, like, and share. And uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks so much. Give us a call. Uh, we are the new Casey Hacker Lab, which is uh, basically the bench. Uh, today, I'm good to go. Tomorrow, I'm actually flying to Quantico. I'm going to go out there and talk with some big federal guys and law enforcement, so that'd be fun. I uh, like uh, collaborating with those guys, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, Cause they got some really interesting complex stories and uh, you know, situations they need help with, which is always fun. Anyways, uh, yep, give us a call, give us an email if you need our services. We are here to help. Uh, yep, thanks a lot, talk to you later, take care.